Hey guys, it's Kerry, the Boulevard Picker. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm going to do a quick little haul video. I, uh, I recently relocated to uh, near Memphis, Tennessee, and I haven't really figured out where to go to, to find good deals yet. I've been to a couple of places, and I found a few things, but nothing that's really jumped out at me. So every six weeks, I've been going back home to Birmingham, where I'm from, and doing a whole lot of thrifting. I'll buy two bus tickets back, and so that way I can carry four suitcases, and I can get a ton of stuff. So anyway, I just got back from Birmingham last night, and I have a ton of stuff. Like I said, I had four bags crammed full of stuff to sell online. And to, to put this in perspective, I, only, I had less than $100 with me to spend while I was there, and that's for food and everything. So I've got to make, so I probably spent, I would say, 70 to $75 total on thrifting. But if you want to count everything, I really need to make about $115. And that covers everything I spent on thrifting, food, and my travel, the, you know, the bus, bus fare. So I'm going to do, I'm going to break this into different pieces. That way it doesn't run for nine hours, me going through all this stuff. So I'll start off with a small little stack of stuff that I picked up. These are paper items. Also wanted to let you know that I, I go to a thrift store, flea market, and an antique mall. I go to those three places and I usually hit each one at least twice during the week, maybe three times. Um, so I, I, I usually go to the thrift store. Thrift store I usually find things like hats and shirts or children's VHS, maybe a horror VHS that I can flip pretty quickly. So I usually make my money back for everything from just out of out of what I get from the thrift store because those items usually sell a little quicker but they don't sell for as much money and some of the vintage items that I get they'll take a long they take longer to sell but they'll sell for a, a much higher profit than the stuff in the thrift store but anyway I'll start off with two things that I bought for myself I know you're not supposed to spend company money on yourself but I occasionally I do see things that I want for me and they're really cheap and I couldn't pass them up so I'm a big MASH fan, and there was a guy in the flea market that had a whole bunch of trading cards. And these were a dollar a piece, so they're not really cheap. Not when you only have 70-something dollars to spend. But anyway, I still went and I bought two MASH cards for myself. Both of them are of Hawkeye and BJ. And uh, Mike Farrell, the guy who plays BJ, he's a really good autograph signer. So I figured I'd send one of these to him and see if I can get him to sign it. So $2 investment. They're worth that to me. They're worth more than that to me, really, because I'm such a huge fan. Over at the Antique Mall, which is the Antique Mall is only open on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday it rained, so unfortunately I wasn't able to go there. But I went all three days that it was open, and as soon as I walked in there, the the lady that, that works there, as soon as she saw me, she said, the vendor that you like is bringing a whole bunch of new stuff in this weekend and he's going to be changing his prices but for the time being everything is still 90 percent off which is amazing he's got a whole ton he's got uh what's it one two three four different little sections set up in the uh, antique mall where he's got stuff and most of it's vintage he's got some toys he had a lot more toys before i got in there and bought a ton of them last time but uh, most of his stuff that i buy from him are are vintage paper items. I just started doing vintage a couple of months ago, so I'm still learning. But from my last trip there, I already made more than three times what I spent already, and I've still got a ton of stuff left to list and left to sell. So I picked up, he had a whole bunch of vintage greeting cards, and I picked up uh, about a dollar's worth. He was he was asking 50 cents a piece, but they're 90% off, so I paid a nickel a piece for them. And I picked up about around 20 of them. Some of them, he had one little bitty New Year's card, a uh, shower card, a bunch of birthday cards, Easter cards. I'm not going to go over each one of them, but I'll flash them up on the screen uh, while I'm talking to you about them. Uh, most of them are not dated. His, the box said, I believe it said 1940s through 1970s. A couple of them were 1950-something. They had dates in them, but most of them don't. And some of them do have some nice little messages written in there. So I'm going to try and sell a few of these on their own. If they don't sell, then I'll probably put them together and do some lots and just see how that goes. Again, I've I've got a dollar invested in all those, so I don't have to make a ton of money to turn a profit. Then I picked up a Liberty National sewing kit. 
I have no idea how old this is, but it was ten cents and it just looked really cool. Maybe it could possibly be bicentenary. I'm not sure. I'm not I haven't opened it up yet. Picked up a Liberty National Life Insurance Company bandage kit. I've also have no idea how how old this is because it's still sealed. I haven't opened it, but it was six cents, so I just threw it in my basket. Every day that I was there, I brought home at least two bags full of stuff. There was one day that I went, I bought, a, I got a bag worth of stuff, and then came back later and got a couple of more bags. So I got a ton of stuff there. Picked up a vintage business card. I don't know how old this is, but I'm guessing it was probably 80s. It's a Pizza Bug hot delivery card. Never heard of this place. But it was cost me three cents, so I was willing to take a chance for you know less than a nickel. Picked up a vintage bar stool tag from Costco. This cost me ten whole cents. It's in decent shape. It has it does have a crease in the middle of it, but it's still nice looking. Uh, it's it's got some uh, some cool features. It, I don't know. It's just a cool looking little item, and it was worth a dime to me just to take a chance on it. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm not sure who Dick Whittington is, but apparently he he's, must be pretty popular. Uh, they got this cool little card of him. It's him sitting down looking at a cat. It's Dick Whittington and his cat. It's not cut exactly correctly. They cut it kind of at an angle, but on the back it says copyright 1908, so it was definitely worth investing a dime for me. I picked up a vintage handkerchief that is still on its card. It was manufactured by Old Hickory Manufacturing Company in Old Hickory, Tennessee. Not familiar with them, but it was cool because it's still on its card, so I picked it up. It was 10 whole cents. A lot of the stuff that I bought this time are items I've never sold before, so I have no idea if they're going to sell it. I don't know if there's a market for these things, but when they're this cheap, it's hard for me to pass up. I'm willing to I'm willing to spend seventy or seventy five dollars just to try new stuff out. I don't have to you know it's it's really easy to make that back. Last time I sold a hat for about twenty five dollars, so that covered like a, you know a third of my expenses off that one item. So I should be able to do that again with some of the stuff I bought. So I picked up this old folded letter dated March eighth, nineteen oh six. It was twenty cents. I was willing to take a chance on it. Never sold an old letter before, but, you know, it's over 100 years old, so pretty cool. It'll look good in my collection if it doesn't sell. Then I picked up a 1943 Virginia Motor Vehicle Registration card. No idea if, if there's a market for these or not, but again, it was $0.20, cents, so how are you going to pass that up? When you're looking for new items to sell and somebody's selling stuff that cheap, why not just give it a chance? Worst that can happen is I lose $0.20. Cents. I can deal with that. This uh, same guy that I was buying a lot of the um, the gift, uh, the greeting cards and stuff like that. He also has a, a bin full of old photos. So I just went through and I was looking at a lot of them. He had a, one of the things he had was an old vintage negative of a just a man in a tie. I don't. It's hard to really see. It's hard to make a lot of detail out on it, but it was ten cents. I was willing to take a chance for a dime on it, so I've never bought a negative before. But who knows? It could be worth something. I picked up a whole bunch of vintage pictures. Let's see here, I'm going to try and describe these the best I can. Hopefully, it'll be easy for me to match these up when I'm going in to edit. This is a photograph of a woman sitting down with a little bitty tree behind her. There's a neighborhood behind her. You can see like a, it's like a smoke stack or something behind her. This was, uh, it was a dollar. I paid 10 cents for it. It is not dated. And this next picture, this is a cool picture. It looked like there was an outhouse on the far left of this photo. Next to the girl, I should say, not far left. It been left of her uh, when you're looking at it from my view, anyway. It had, it had three cool buildings on it, so I just picked it up. It was a dime. It was worth the investment. And somebody had said in one of the videos that they if they see pictures with old-time cars in them, they'll buy them. So I went through and picked up every one I could find out of there. This picture is an, an older woman with three children, but there's a cool old-time car behind her. So I took a photo of that. Then there is 
an old man with two children. He, he's one of them he's holding, and there's an old car behind him. It's a dime as well. That same old man, this time he's with four children, and the same cool car behind him. Once again, this was ten cents. Not sure exactly how old these are, but maybe, I don't know, maybe 40s, 30s maybe? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I'm not great with this kind of stuff. Then here's here's one that's actually dated. It's a woman standing next to a Tanbark Ridge sign. It is dated August 1957, way before I was born. This next photo is, this is a small photo, a Kodak, also on Kodak paper, and it's a Christmas photo. That's why I bought it. It had a Christmas tree in the background. I liked it. It's black and white. It is not dated, but I'm guessing maybe 50s. Then there is a vintage photo of a man. It looks like he's, maybe he's a police officer or joining the military. He has really, really, really short hair, and he seems to be in a really good mood. He's smiling. It was a nickel. Another photo with a with a vehicle in it. This one, this is a cool one. It's got a border going around, and it's a lady. She's kind of looking off somewhere, so she's not looking at the camera. Maybe there was multiple people taking her photo that day. But she's standing by in front of a really old-looking car, so it was neat. I picked that one up. It was a dime. There is a photo of a woman. I don't know what in the world that is behind her, like a tower or something. She's wearing a dress, looking all happy. Maybe she's going to prom or something. Not sure. It was a dime. Here's a photo. This is probably 40s. This is kind of a thick photo. Let's see, now it doesn't have a date or anything on back of it. It's kind of a slightly faded photo. I'm guessing it's 40s. It's nice looking. And then there's a photo of a girl. This almost looks like a school photo or something. A young girl with glasses. She's real happy and got big hair. Probably 50s or 60s. Then. I have a photo of a man. This has got to be 40s. It's got to be. It's a man dressed. He's got his sleeves rolled up and he's smoking a cigarette. That one was also a dime. I picked up a slightly larger photo of a woman. But once again, this lady is staring off somewhere else, not looking at the camera. It's black and white and it's got writing on the back of it. This one says... To the one I love forever, I love you, Josephine Moore. It is not dated, unfortunately. Picked up a... This is a thick card. I, this this could possibly be turn of the century. Maybe older. I don't really know. This is a really cool looking photo. It's a couple of women and a whole bunch of children. There's, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people in this photo. It's really faded, but it's thick. Thick like a baseball card, but not quite as as big as a baseball card. And I got a vintage portrait of a man in a suit, and it was it says six dollars. So I paid sixty cents for it. Not sure how old it is, but it looks pretty darn old. Then there was also this this next photo is another guy in a suit, and it's got a little paper frame going around, but the frame is not in great shape. The photo will come out pretty easily. But this didn't have a price on it, so I went over and I was still shopping, and I handed the lady my stuff to add up, and I, I said, this doesn't have a price on it, so if you can find out how much it is. And she never said a word to me, and after I paid and all I got home, it, it's in my basket. So, I mean, it's in my bag, so cool. I don't know what she charged me for it, uh, or if she just threw it in for free. She may have, but it was a really nice photo. It looks really, really old. And then from the flea market, I picked up a photo of these two older women, really faded photo that's been taped to this paper frame. Of uh, these two older ladies, it's even got a little bit of a hole. It's like it's been maybe burned through there a little bit. But this was two dollars and twenty-five cents. But the vendor had everything for seventy-five percent off this one day, so I picked that up. That same vendor also had a big stack of postcards that I was going through, and I picked up these two. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to give it a shot. Trossach Hotel. It's T-R-O-S-S-A-C-H-S -S -S Hotel. Two postcards. And the reason I bought these, on back of them it says this is a real photograph. So I'm, I'm assuming that these are real photo postcards. And I'm always on the lookout for that kind of stuff. Those can be worth a lot of money. One of them actually has some writing on it. It says, T at 4 p.m. Tuesday, July 21st. Trio and Hotel, Grandview, and I can't read the last two words there. 
But those two are pretty cool. And back at the Antique Mall, the same vendor that has everything for 90% off, I was going through looking at some stuff, and I discovered he actually had some real photo postcards of his own. And I see these from time to time, but they're usually really, really expensive, so I usually pass them up. Uh, it's hard for me to spend $10, even if I'm going to be able to flip it for 20 I, At this point, I don't have a, enough money built up. My page is really small, so I can't really afford to, to lay out a ton of money for not a lot of items. But this guy had a stack of them. What is this? One? He had five of them. They were $2.50 a piece. That means I paid $0.25 cents a piece for them, so I bought them all. One of them is a woman smiling, and it is... Genevieve Webb. I'm, I'm not sure if she did this herself or if she went to a company to have these done, but I've, I've seen before that where they had these little kits that you could buy where you could make your own postcards. So this could, these could very well be all be one of a kind. I'm not saying that, but they could be. The next one is uh, a man dressed up in a nice suit. He got his hair done really nice, and it's also a postcard. So that one was cool. These are not dated, unfortunately. The next two is the same girl but different photos so once again these could be one of a kind she could have made these to send to a boyfriend or maybe a relative or something her name is mildred tipton there's two of them she's a very nice looking girl not sure how old they are maybe 40s and the last one the last one i have for for part one of this video this is looks like a really really old photo it's got a an oval frame it's kind of like an oval frame going on in it and it's also a postcard but it, once again it is not dated so i'm not exactly sure how old but it could be i don't know 20s or 30s it'd be great the older the better i'm hoping it's really really old anyway that's that's all i have in this one i've got a ton of stuff left to do but i didn't want to bore you guys too bad this was 17 minutes that's a long time to go for just part one so uh, check back i'll try and get the next part done as quick as i can thanks for listening see you guys